once in a while there's an upgrade that occurs to a software package that is subtle and then there are other times where some of the upgrades that occur are a little bit more obvious that a change has happened. That's kind of the case that we're seeing in the most recent upgrade to uh, Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 that occurred at the beginning of November 2016. Uh, as you can see the screen right now, the start workspace that was made available about a year ago in one of the upgrades is is obvious but one of the changes that has actually occurred in this particular version is when you either select file to new or click the new button on the home screen here and you'll notice that immediately the new document window has seen a tremendous uh, change and one of those of course is the fact that now you have a large selection of built-in templates there used to be a few there was actually one for print and one for the web and one for uh, desktop and the primary change that we'll see here is the fact that we have a variety of categories we've got uh, saved and photo print art illustration web mobile and film and video and the nice thing about each of these individual categories is not only do we have a few built-in standardized template sizes for blank documents but you also now have access to Adobe stock and there are templates that are available initially that you'll see here that are free uh, and obviously also connecting through Adobe stock there are a variety of templates that are available that of course you can pay for uh, the first one I'm going to take a look at here actually is just the concept that many people use Photoshop to do an initial layout for a website and there are a few versions that you can see or a few te free templates that are available here that you can download and make use of so if I decide that I want to download and this particular template uh, and click continue of course I would choose one of the larger ones so now that that has finished downloading we can go ahead and open this up you'll notice that this opens with a series of different artboards or different scenes actually that are available and all of the different objects so all items are available that we can make use of and if we zoom in a little bit we can see that we have a laptop we have a desktop we have all the different components that we might choose to make use of all of these being completely separate components uh, that we can make use of in putting together a new website based on the theme of somebody's desktop all that simply by clicking on new or file to new and choosing from one of the newest templates that is currently available to us in Photoshop CC 2017.